Hi, this is a second tutorial about the possibilities to select portions of surface in MeshLab. In the first tutorial we had a look at the, the rectangular region selection, both for triangles and points. And uh, another possibility is to se select in a very easy way the connected components in a model. So if a model is divided in the pieces which are independent one respect to the other, there's an easy way to select an entire independent component in with, with only a very simple input. So this button gives you the possibility to select the connected components. So if you indicate a rectangular area and you just pick a, a part of a connected component, the whole component is selected. So it's very easy. So you see that if I select only a portion of the model, most of it is selected. and uh, also for this tool, uh, the combinations with Control, Shift uh, are um, valid anyway. So if I want to add also this small piece to the selection, I just click Control, and I can also remove, for example, the bigger part and keep only the selection of the small connected component. So if you have fragmented objects which are divided in uh, different components, you can use this uh, selection tool, which is actually quite good. Another very interesting way to select portions of the geometry uh, is the using the paint tool. Uh, using the painting tool, you see here there will be another tutorial um, which uh, will show you how to paint a model. Uh, but there is also the possibility to use the brush to select geometry. So you need to select this part, so the red brush, and you have uh, this circle that gives you the possibility just by clicking to select portions of the geometry, parts of the geometry. You can play with the size of the, of the brush in order to be more precise. And again, using the ESC file, you can navigate the model and put yourself in the right position and keep on selecting. You see that uh, every time that you select a new portion, the previously selected uh, part uh, is not deleted and uh, another important thing with the, the, um, the painting uh, tool is that you select only the visible faces so it's differ different from the rectangular region selection but actually can be extremely useful if your model is not very uh, complex so it's easy to navigate that actually is probably better than the, the classic rectangular region selection tool so this was for these two additional tools for the selection, which can be extremely useful. But if you have a look in the filters menu, you see that you have a sub-menu which is uh, devoted only to selection. So there is really plenty of possibilities here, starting from the very basic one, select all and select none. Uh, but there are really several ways to select uh, in uh, a more mesh processing style, so without a real uh, direct uh, um, interaction with the model but just setting for example some uh, parameters so for example uh, one uh, filter which can be uh, extremely useful is select faces with edges longer than so if you have a model with uh, an uneven triangulation with part with big triangles and parts with very small triangles uh, sometimes you need to select and remove the, the triangulation, triangulation which is too rough, so you just need to select the threshold for the, the sides of the triangles that you want to select. And you see that by applying the, this filter, you have the selected which are bigger than the sides which are, have been already se selected, and then you can do whatever you want with them. But there is really lots of other things that you can uh, do with, the, with, the, with this uh, selection filters. and. Uh, most of them is they are quite easy uh, because their name just explains them um, and uh, so this is just an overview of all the things that you can do but uh, now you should be able to know at least where to look at when you need to make a selection of geometry in MeshLab in order to find the best way to do that. Thank you.